Hey everybody, it's me, Marco, here on Risky Ideas Movies, the YouTube channel, and I promise I'll come up with a better intro than that, but I haven't really done many videos for this channel. Anyways, I am here today to talk about the making of my poster for my movie, Dr. Imperfect and the Perfect Man, and obviously this is my third attempt at making a feature film, and hopefully it will be the first successful attempt. And one of the things that you want to do when you make a movie is make a good poster. And I am luckily an artistic person. I've done a lot of art growing up, and I love art. I'm very good at art. I know that. I've been told that. Uh, and you know, I've done a lot of interesting, different things. What I try to do is variate, like make different types of art and not just the, rely on doing the same type over and over and over again. I like to experiment around. And for this poster, for this movie, I don't want to give much about the movie away. This is just how to make a poster for a movie. First off, it all starts out with the idea, and I have some variations of the the poster down there. Then I have the real one right here, which I'll show at the very end. It's still not done because it needs one last name on there, but it all starts with the idea. And if you're not an artistic person, it might be hard to get that idea in your head because you, you don't really have an artistic mind you don't really have a mind to like say like, oh, I think it would look really good if you had this person here, this person, that monster there, that person there, that setting there. Like you're not really going to have that ability, uh, maybe. And so if you're not artistic, then I would suggest maybe looking at other posters to see what they've done and also to look maybe at like composition types of art lessons and stuff like that just look all over the place for inspiration and it'll come to you and that was the key thing even for me I had a hard time coming up with this poster idea I did not know really what to do I was like uh, this is <laughs> this is sad because I had just gotten done doing a really cool poster the final poster for I've been bitten and that's being postponed, of course, unfortunately. And I, but one day I was sitting in the parking lot uploading a YouTube video as I do. And I closed my eyes and I saw an Amazon page in my head with rent this movie $3.99, buy it $8.99. And then I saw the title that I had already thought up of, and then I saw the poster right there. And that was the first time that I, that's how I came up with the idea. I literally just closed my eyes, and I just, it, it just came to me, uh, magically. I don't know where it came from or anything, but I automatically had this picture, which is right here. What happened was this, this was an old, review of Sophie's that she wrote out. Let's see, what was it for? Wendy's Foot Blade Spot. Oh, okay. This was a X-Files ranking. So this was just in the car. It was a crumpled up piece of paper that was going to be thrown away. And this was the picture I saw in my head. I saw this picture completely like this, the, the color all the different colors, I saw everything. And this, I knew at that point that this movie is going to be made because there's no way that I just like magically came up with this, like this was meant to be shown in my head. And so that there it was, and I was experimenting with the colors there obviously, the types of greens, and it's just very simple, very, very simple, but effective. And that's what you want to do when you do a movie poster is you don't want to overcomplicate it, make it a bunch of crap all over the place. 
uh, that clutters up the pit poster. You want it to be simple and effective in telling your story. So next, I wanted to experiment around, try to do a poster, and this was my first attempt. It is not very good. I did this with oil pastels. This is the second only oil pastel thing I've ever done. And, uh, yeah. What I did like, though, is at the end I did this scratching technique which sort of looks like a like a mirror or something and so as you can see there you go that was the next one after that that don't look at that uh, after that oh fuck Ugh. after that I tried to do markers and it looked this just looks terrible I mean uh <laughs> It, it, I, I did imagine that you'd see these lines for the purple, like you'd see these straight down lines, and maybe for the green too. Uh, but it, I don't, it just, it just looks so bad, and gross, and ugh, looks ugly. Finally, so you're experimenting around. You're trying these different variations of this simple picture to see what is going to work finally did this marker drawing and obviously this one looks the best out of out of these three pictures and yeah like I mean just the realism just I mean that looks exactly like me that looks like me I used I took photos and I used the references and then the logo is really nice. I love that that glowing look. That it just everything pops out of this picture. Uh, so yeah, this is the poster. This was the idea of, like come to life. And after that, all I had to do was paint it, and then add the tagline and the the stupid titles and everything. Uh, so, without further ado. This is the poster. So as you can see, I wish there were two of you. And then you have it upside down. And then, oh, that was the poster cover that just fell. And then you, you have the top and the logo. And then you have, boom. You have this one, this guy. And then you have this guy. Marco. Amy, the actress who will play Amy, will be right here as soon as I cast her. And then Chase, the guy playing my dad, right there. And then the title, Dr. Imperfect and the Perfect Man. Whew. Now, how I made this was, first off, I did like a rough outline. Then I, did, I filled in most of the black. Then I did the lettering. I did the lettering next. And I created this really nice, like, glowing neon green color. That It just is a really nice, beautiful color. I really don't like the purple-green, like, coloring that I came up with. Like, I, I see, that's how you know that this was magical, because I never would have, like, purposefully said, I want to do a, a bright green and bright purple. It just came to me. And so uh, I wanted to make it, you know, look better than I would have thought that it would. So I think that the lettering looks pretty cool. Then I did this figure. He was very difficult to do because he's me, obviously. And so it's <laughs> I basically did two self-portraits in one, and then I those are self-portraits too. Uh but it was hard because I, I was just doing it with this. Where is it? I'm going to show you guys the brush that I used. This purple. Uh, purple. <laughs> See? Magic. Purple, purple. It was meant to happen. And this brush, you know, it's a little thick. And it was really hard to get these details. And so I started out with black. And then I filled it in with the green letter color. 
and I went from there. And I added some, I really love the nose, the shading on the nose. I love the purple up there. I love the just, ugh, it's so cool. Uh, I love the coat is probably my favorite part. This glowing look, this, this glow, it just pops out like I wanted it to. And uh, what I did at the end though was I took this uh, the sharpie and I I just did all the detailing with the sharpie and it actually made it look so much better than I ever would have thought that it would. Then I did the purple. The purple was a complex process because I did, this is four or five different purples painted together. And you can see the sort of complex, like wavy, like dreamy um, coloring. And it looks really, really cool. I mean, it just, it looks so much better than I originally thought that it would look. And the logo is pretty cool. I like the little skull face that I did and the the pink, you know, very symbolic. I don't want to talk about that anymore. I don't want to give things away. This was an accident. Originally, and my fingernail was dirty, so it's gonna, uh, I'll, I'll film it like this and be like, it was like this and this. Um, I took this color basically kind of like a beige skin tone and I was considering like outlining the full castle uh, picture but then what I did instead was I thought ooh this could be kind of like smoke like flames type of thing and I thought whoa this works so much better than the original concept to do these wavy smoke things these smoke colorings and it ended up, it just, it looks so cool. And uh, the only part I struggled with was the outlining of the castle. I wanted it to be sharp, sharp and skinny like all the rest of the, you know, very sharp edges. Uh, but it ended up being more blurry and darker than I would have wanted to. Uh, so that's the one thing I don't like about this poster is that. Uh, it looks better on here, you know, see these sharp lines here, no smoke obviously, but these sharp lines, I do think that the lines look better there than there. Um, and lastly, I did this guy, and after I painted this, I was a lot, it was a lot easier for me to paint this portrait of me, and it was just a whole lot of fun to make it like a darker, like you can tell these are different characters. They have different colorings to them. You know, they look very interesting and unique. The very, very last thing that I've done is I outlined the figures with this color to make it pop out. I did outline there and then I changed my mind and I, I colored the purple over it, but this is how to do, how to make a movie poster. And honestly, I wouldn't have had it any other way. I think it's a perfect poster for the film. I think that it's fun, unique, cool. It's, it's just different. And it's just so, it's, the one thing I would say though is that this movie takes place in the 1950s. And I really do think that the poster looks more like a film poster for the 1930s or the 40s or maybe like a silent film poster uh, so that's the one thing I would say uh, that's the one I guess that and then of course the lines up here other than that though I really love this poster it every time I make a new piece of art I try to make it the best thing I've ever done uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, I think that this time, this is my favorite thing I've ever done. Because this is, that's what I pictured in my head. And now it's on the page. It's fully been realized. And there's just something so uh, magical about that. That a lot of people won't, that won't happen for them. Because they're too busy using these stupid templates on Photoshop websites. 
Uh, and if you don't know how to paint and you don't want to put in the work to make a poster yourself, then you can always just hire me. Uh, <laughs> I will do a poster for you for $100, uh, just like this type of thing where it's hand-painted, everything is hand-done, uh, even the font would be different, everything would be different, but it would still be a poster. I'd love to do it for you if you need a movie poster for $100 plus the royalties for the poster. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's it. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more behind the scenes videos about my filmmaking process and about making my first ever movie, Dr. Imperfect and the Perfect Man. Goodbye, everybody. See you soon.